on the Middle East. Yeah. Uh, you, your comments in, in the opening suggest that you are quite concerned about um, the risk or the, the, the potential for a, a much uh, wider war. What exactly is the State Department doing in terms of preparation for um, that possibility? So we are concerned about the, the risk of the conflict escalating, the conflict spreading. It's something, as you know, we've been concerned about since October 7th, and there have been various times uh, over the course of this conflict that the uh, risk has been especially acute. Now, of course, is one of those times. Um, and so what we are doing, um, the Secretary and others in the uh, State Department are communicating with all the relevant parties in the region to make clear, as I said in my opening remarks, that uh, escalation is in no one's interest. Um, and asking that people use their diplomatic relationships to make that clear to others okay, in, that's, that's, in, in the region. Okay, for this, the, my, my specific question, and I'm sure there's tons to say about your outreach to other countries, I'm talking about internally within the U.S. government, what uh, is being done to prepare for the possibility that um, sure. uh, that there is a, a, a wider war and that there will be American citizens uh, in need. So there are a few different things. So um, let me take a broad answer that before getting to the specific last one. Obviously, you've seen the, the Defense Department make certain announcements with regard to force posture. Deterrence <clears throat> is an important part of encouraging de-escalation. Um, and so we will continue to take steps uh, along that regard. Of course, we prepare for the possibility of further conflict. That being said, I want to just make it clear in answering the question that we don't think conflict is inevitable or should be inevitable or that increased conflict is inevitable. We're going to continue to work to try um, to prevent it from happening. But of course, we prepare for all um, possibilities. That has been the case um, uh, since October 7th. Obviously, you saw that um, over the weekend, we sent out a message to American citizens in Lebanon making clear that um, Lebanon is a do not travel country. It's a level four country. Uh, we uh, issued a security alert encouraging U.S. citizens who wish to depart Lebanon to book any ticket available for them, even uh, if that flight do does not apart depart immediately or does not follow their first choice route. Um, and we'll continue to monitor the situation and make assessments and take actions based on response to real-time events. All right. So last one. Um, you, you keep saying, or, you, or you're saying that a, a, a wider uh, war is not inevitable and you don't think it should be inevitable. Um, but do you think that an Iranian response or an Iranian attack on Israel is inevitable, uh, whether or not that leads to yeah. a broader war? So I can't speak to um, what may or may not happen. That is a decision for Iran to make. We have... Uh, been sending consistent messages uh, through our diplomatic engagements, encouraging people to communicate to the government of Iran uh, that escalation is not in their interest and that we will defend Israel from attacks and that uh, escalation does not serve Iran's interests, just as it doesn't serve the interests of anyone in the right. region. So I don't want to say it's inevitable. Um, certainly the risk is there, and that's why we are, are pursuing these diplomatic in, engagements. In your, in, 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 from your perspective, is any kind of Iranian response an escalation? Um, I don't want to prejudge from here what our view of a response might be, other than to say we don't want to see Iran take further action. And that's the message we are consistently delivering to our partners in the region. Thank you. Uh, are there any preparations being made to evacuate U.S. citizens from Lebanon at this stage? So we um, always plan for all contingencies, and that's not just a statement I would make today. That is something that we have uh, has been clear since October 7th. We have planned for all of the possible contingencies, including the broadening of this conflict, including the escalation of this conflict. Um, our posture as it relates to American citizens in Lebanon today is that we recommend that uh, U.S. citizens um, uh, who can depart Lebanon find a way to do so. Okay, but nothing specific on the potential of an evacuation. I don't have anything to, to announce here, but as I said, we always prepare for all contingencies. Okay.